what's up people welcome back to Reese King's game channel I am Reese King's always and today we're back on Red Dead Redemption so we are gonna uh, mosey on down let me go to my cowboy eyes we're gonna mosey on down do another mission today do a couple more fun bits to do and then we'll uh, yeah keep doing that until we complete it we're, we're gonna play a game okay <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what is happening in my mind right now. <laughs> howdy, howdy, howdy. We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. How are we? Uh, greets. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. Uh. We were stranded at sea. For 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. <laughs> oh, God. When we get ran wrecked. away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. <clears throat> well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. <laughs> I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough, enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a Let's second. Let's go oh. hunting. Here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted off. Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. I'm awful you starving. Go. I you can't stay here listening <laughs> to you two. Look, at this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is a rest? Come along. Yeah, he's a, I guarantee that guy's going to turn out to be a freaking <laughs> badass. Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn. I imagine. Yeah. Well, cool. Right. I didn't realize we were going to get up. um fucking bow and arrow as well. That's awesome. Okay, it looks like we're turning up here. I'm assuming this is going to be the part where we hunt. Do you think? Maybe. Maybe it's Maybelline. Oh, do you see any wabbits? Because I'm... I'm not going to make the same joke about being hungry again. Awful hunger. <laughs> okay, yeah, twice. Too much. Once was more than enough. We will erase that joke from our awful minds. <laughs> oh, God, stop it, Race. I like the way it cuts between cutscenes like that. It's just so about it that it makes it really cool. I'm assuming they've done it to make it feel like a Western movie kind of thing. And it succeeded. It's, it's tasty nice. Let's look down this way. Alright. Let's have a little goose, son. Let's have a little goose. The wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad. But if it's too strong, they won't move. No, shh. Stay quiet. Yeah, horse bonding increased. Well, hopefully this episode he won't run into a wall like he did last time. Because that was embarrassing. He just freaks out and ran into a wall. Stop here a second. I see something. Ah, what are you saying, bruh? What are you seeing, boy? What are you seeing? I didn't catch his name. Ooh. There's deer been here. And recently. Nice. How can you tell? Deer footprints. We'll track them on foot. Cool. Move quietly and slowly. Always. Crouching race, hidden kill. Where is he, the bastard? The tracks? I think so. Maybe not. Focus. Oh, I'm focusing. What's this? Nice. Where should I be? Oh, over this way. I see, I see. I smell him. I smell him on the wind. He went through this way. 
Come with me, my dude. <laughs> you gotta stay low. Real low, boy. This is hunting ground. Right. Right. Way to go. I'm trying to focus over here. Oh, he snuck through here. Right. I'm low again. I'm a relaxed, okay? I'm just chilling. He's over there. They went through this way, boy. Hear you coming a mile off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quit your yapping. Don't you know I have like a weird sixth sense for this shit? This thing that you're trying to show me. I see him. I see him. You see him? Yeah. Just said that. Are you ready with that bow? Born ready. Aim for their head or neck. We want a good, clean kill. Okay. Keep good tension on the string before releasing. Just don't overdo it. Quick. Oh, nice. See if you can get another one. Another one? Where's another one? Where's the other one, bruh? Must be another one up here slightly. Can we like skin this or something or what? What's that dude? Oh, I messed you up, huh? Sorry, bro. Rest assured we'll eat you. Renaz. Nice. Alright, we got another one up here. Don't run too far. Oh, well then. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hands okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Yeah, baby. I'll go grab this one and you go through the wall. <laughs> Got him. All right, pick it up. Stick it on your back. Take it to your horse and stick it on that. Whistle your horse. Oh, dude, I didn't know I could do this. Where is he? House? Hey! Good horsey! Oh man, the horses look amazing in this. Hey, I'm just gonna put this dead animal on top of my animal. Look at that, self strapping. Look at this guy. Just, just take a second to look at this guy. One of my biggest gripes with Red Dead 1 was the fact that it just... The horses and stuff looked so pants. Come on, then. Which way are we riding? Back. You crossing over my way or am I crossing over your way? Right. I didn't want to get my horse wet for no reason, so... Apparently I have now. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. Couple of minutes, you maybe. I knew you'd be okay with that bow. Yeah, man. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> I've seen enough of that. Yeah. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. True say. To me, we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Alright, let's mosey on back into town then, boy. We got ourselves a couple of yummy, yummy deals. I'm gonna hitch time over here. Yeah, me too. I wanna. Food back, boys. Whoop, whoop. Let's tie this mama jammer up. Come on, 
Let's get these over to Pearson. Yeah, that's... Oh, yeah. Thank you for showing me how to use the boat properly. I only showed you a little. There's a lifetime of practice to master. Yep. Luckily, I'm a freaking pro, bro. Well, well, well. <clears throat> Just drop it down in here. Would you want to drop it, bro? Here. Boom. What a surprise. Found a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid. <laughs> ah, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah. Oh. Seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that <laughs> hand, Charles. We'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. I'll get to skin you. <coughs> you always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skinned that one, did you? Dumped on the floor there. Yeah. Get ready for grossness. Oh good, it doesn't actually Oh. Oh, okay. Um not too bad, Mr. Moore. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah. Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> Fucking disgusting. A few days later, yay! I was also excited that we didn't have to see it because he was sort of stood in front of it, and then it's been a bad few weeks. We saw it. Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans, and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but... Look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch? Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway <laughs> men. Bill! Now, you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, good man. for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. Let's do it. 
I'm down. Fucking train robbery, hell yes. Following, brother. God damn it. Imagine how cool this would actually be, like I mean not the shooting people side of it so much, but just like this. All of you according to the information so so cool lied to us by the O'Driscolls, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're gonna pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. Yeah. There's okay. a great spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private car. Money. You and me, Morgan. Hey, have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yeah. No. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now come on. Let's ride. Damn it, man, it's so cool. It's just so fucking awesome. Dee -dee -dee -dee. See what I mean? Like, the cinematic part of this is just fucking awesome. I like the way it just takes over, and it's just like. I could watch this like a movie, honestly. I imagine for you guys watching it, it's like, it, you know, it really is just like a freaking movie. Holy shit, it's fucking awesome. Before anyone gets up here after us. Oh, look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. Micah Bell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Just happy we're back at him, Dutch. <laughs> you sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes short. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times you gonna ask the same question, Micah? Yeah. That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say. We go back, and that's the end of it. Now look at this. Money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. Good money. Once we work out how to cash them. Now guys, come on. Everyone, guys. Shut up and get your mind on the job at hand. Come on. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm overtaking you, bitch. Hold up here on the ridge. Fucking overtake me. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Oh, damn. Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. Heck yeah. yeah. Can I jump my horse ship? Do I know about that? Yeah. Oh, I can. Sweet. How you getting on? Okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? <laughs> All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Right. Okay, sure. I'll do it. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. Okay. Sounds good, my said detonator is over here. Look at this detonator over here. Oh man, plunger. Yes! Let's get some boom boom happening. What's it say? Connect the wires. OK. 
Okay, this is good. Hell right. yeah. That should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. Okay. Okay, boy. Let's go. Let's go. Chicka 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 real Sadie. Free Sadie. King of the West, best of the West. I'm the best of the best. All of you. No mistakes. Catch me on SoundCloud. Because I'm a SoundCloud rapper these days. Yeah yeah. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any minute now. How do I cover my face? What am I looking at? Hell yeah. That includes you, Arthur? Well, I don't know how to. It doesn't teach me yet. Am I being silly? Ah, oh, cool. So what I gotta do? Okay, clearly I'm a dumb dumb or something. Cover your face, Arthur. I'm trying, brother. Jace, give me a bike. I don't really know how to do things. Yeah. There we go. Jeez, I'm crying. I was, I, I'm struggling to get the hang of that. You have to sort of push at it and then Gentlemen, release. It's time. Howdy, 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 howdy. All of you. You all know what to do. There's a snake in my boot. Make it go boom. Oh snap. Shit, no, what? God. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Where did you find that more? You said it was fine. It was my fault. Come on. You're pathetic. You know that? It's fucking gay, boys. You'd think I would have gotten that freaking horse though, right? It would have been faster. No. Okay. Can I get him? I got you. Oh, I see tap. Dude, this looks fucking awesome. I'm going for the train driver. Today, sir. Uh, not today, my guys. Woo! What's up, Holmes? Not today, sucker. I'm okay. Yeah, boy. Looks like we got ourselves an old-fashioned killing. Where's the driver? Oh god! You fucking punk, you scared the crap out of me! Ain't that no boy? Yeah, eat a dick, yeah, Abraham Lincoln, motherfucking looking bastard! Oh, okay, I'll do a job. How do I pick up my hat again? Hat! Where did my hat go? Excuse me, I've lost my hat. God damn it. Son of a bitch. Stop the train. Nice. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. Ah. Yep, 
Yes. I want my hat back. I want my hat back. I want my six shooter. That's what I actually want. Yeah, well, come at me, bro. Come here. Here comes a shot. Line up. Boom. Hey. What are you doing, fool? Not today, sucker. Where else are these fools? We die already. Yeah, got shot, sucker. Yeah, eat that. Yeah! Well, yeah. Give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Okay. Yeah, give me the dynamite. I wouldn't do this. Now, don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. How do I do it? Oh, nice. Seems good enough. Like the fuse. Now, like the fuse. fuse. Come on in, do it. Here we go. <laughs> Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back. Fellas. Oh, I'm stepping back. Behind this horse. All right, come on. Good walk on out here. You coming out? No silliness now. Get on up there. Come on, boys. We don't need no trouble. I want to go in, I want to go in, I want to go in. Let me in. Oi, 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 oi. Me next. Me bloody next. Look at this place. Hell it looks yeah. Like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. <clears throat> oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. Inspect. <laughs> You're just going to stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will you? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur oh, did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. We'll received a payment of two thousand for an individual. That's nice. okay. Well, I don't care too okay. much. But um, see if we can get this open. Put that away. Keep that. I suppose a little uh, little extra job there for me. Take that cigar, dude. I'm taking it. In fact, can I? Can I spark that up? There. See. Oh hell yeah! Look at me go! Shit. Oh yeah. Just a pile of papers. Bonds? I don't think so. Here, make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. Give me those. Inspect. Railroad contract. Yeah, I'll just take it. Invoices, just take it. Just blah, take it. Blah blah blah. You got anything? Not really. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies. A lot of sugar. Searchy, searchy. Fancy new boaties ordered from Europe. 
I am not robbing another boat as long as Dude, I live. Take. Take it all, there's bunts in there. Close drawers. Look like the most polite robbery ever. I'm searching the cabinet right now, actually. Look at that fox. Creepy. No, Open it up. What have we got? An awful lot of security for not a lot, isn't it? These just seem to be yes. contracts. Arthur. Bond. Yeah, have you looked down the end there? Think I got him. Nice. Thank God. Come on. <clears throat> you never stop, man. <laughs> Am I still smoking my cigar or did I put it out? Yeah, damn it. Eh. I really want my hat back. Yeah, all right, mate. I'm trying to freaking take my time. All right, I like to search stuff. All right, jeez, all right. What did you find? These bonds. bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah. Get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. Nice. As always, I get left behind. Pick up the pieces. Right, threaten, aim weapon. Okay. Get on the train. Quick. Hold it. Any bright ideas, I kill all three. So behave. Come on! Please, no! Come on now. Where's this other one? If I hear so much as a footstep from this car, you'll end up like all your friends out here. Okay. Be a good little fucking bitch. Get in there. Right. Let me go see if I can find my hat because I, I really, really would like that. And uh, also, let's loot these fools. Hey, horsey. Janet, try and keep up with us, okay? Because we need to get rid of this stanking train. Start this baby up. Woo woo! Bitching. Job done. I'm back. Howdy. So we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. Well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know yeah, you yeah. two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. Hey, you yeah. Let's go for some more freaking like, postcard-esque, beautiful imagery. Yes. Ding, 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 billy ding. That's just in case it's copyright, guys. If I continue talking over it really kind of loudly, then you won't hear the music so much, and YouTube won't take away my monetization. Oh, This guy is so Trevor, isn't he? Buy me a whiskey. Such a fucking Trevor. Oh wow, man. Look at all this with the greenery instead. It looked pretty enough being in snow, but look at the depth of it all. Awesome. Yeah, the way I'm properly steering this. That is 
is so damn cool. Can you imagine seeing a country when it was just like this, like, before, I mean, yeah, alright, chill out, bruv. Um, before, it was, um, overrun with buildings and structures and... What the fuck? Okay, let's take a look. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, yeah. what's the going wheel on? fell off. Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You yeah. still strong enough to hold up a wing? Shut up. I'm just saying. Well, say less. <laughs> Pick the wheel up. <laughs> Okay. Give it a bash, because that'll keep it on there. Nearly there. Like that. See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. Oh, snap. What He's about think? to get shot on me. If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Yeah, okay. Let's rock and roll. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. Tell me something. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. Yeah. So. Oh, cool. Yes. The infants in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country. They lost it all. Stolen clean away from them, it was. Every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. How's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. We don't spot it, that just talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our blockheaded driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. Yeah, but well, he's a... Uh... But anyway, as I was saying before the wagon what happened broke... In your tribe? Oh, God. Guys, I don't even know can I have I a have minute? One. At least, not that I can remember. Can I have a minute? My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did, but... When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We we'll find around. out. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem? Just look at that distance. Arthur? It's like it's real. Yeah, it's a long story. Jesus. Are we still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. Our kind of place. The Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. 
wait. Well, what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... Well, I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. Ooh, what's going on there? What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. <laughs> Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. Nice. Yeah. Thanks, mate. Nothing like some herbs. Man, I gotta say, there is so much going on out here. Uh, I'll probably cut a bit of that because it got a bit boring. But there you are, brother. Yeah, it's just amazing. Get in there, follow the track for a bit. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, just look at this freaking place. Look at the view. Look at just everything. I just you just gotta stop and take it in. Because it is amazing. Like honestly, during the ride through here, I've probably cut some of it, but during the ride through here, like there's so much life and so many animals and oh man. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. Howdy howdy. It's not really the place you kind of promised, bro. This place is perfect. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now it is time to prosper. Oh wow, he looks much I cooler. To prosper in Blackwater. We were on to something <clears> big. <throat> then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Jose. Every last one of us. But I kept us together, kept us alive, kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money and a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer Robin Banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, <laughs> everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. Time for another speech. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track name of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And uh, we need food, real food. That means every day, one of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. 
Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Ms. Blackwater Grimshaw. got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's time to have a smoke and just chill, is it? Chapter 2 Horseshoe Overlook. This is so cool. I literally I love how this is playing out. The story, the way the story works in this is very good. Okay, a couple of weeks later. Guess we'll settle down now. Got off the mountain. Rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier, in spite of black water and that whole mess. Hi there. Jose. <sighs> Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> Cool. Man alive. I look awesome! Look, now I've got rid of those freaking massive jackets. Look how much more of a cowboy I look now. Also, P.S. Look how big my beard's got. Holy crap, that's awesome. Okay, well, I guess there's loads of stuff we can do. Need to see. my boy. My dear boy. What's going on? Um, Nothing. Nothing at all. For the first time in weeks. Nothing. We're free. We're yeah. free to plan our own futures once more. True that. I hope so, Dutch. You kept the faith, Arthur. You always kept it. And I ain't losing it now. Cool. Right. So we've got loads and loads of stuff around us to be doing now, which is kind of awesome. Let's uh, morning, Mr. chop some wood. That's not high up on my priority. I want to just go over here and look over this motherfucking edge because, oh my god, does it look pretty. Let me just... Oh, man. Now that. Look at that. It's fucking... Oh, you just... Oh. Bro, have Morning. you seen how pretty this is? Have you... It's fucking gorgeous out here, dude. Nice rifle, by the way. Wow. Woo, don't go off the edge. I was gonna say, woo, I don't like it. Yeah. Yeah, alright. You know what, guys? This is probably gonna round up the episode. But let's just take this in one last time. Just look around you. And realise how fucking good this game looks. There's not a person alive that could doubt how good this game looks, I'm afraid. It's just fucking beautiful. Anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed the second episode, uh, and... I don't know, just want to show a little love. Smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and hit that notification bell, because then you'll be notified of when I upload new videos. Other than that, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye!